Hi friends, it's Bridget. I'm continuing my exploration with my fabrics. Today I'm going to be making another basket. I want a large one for my laundry room. I also want to experiment with a new idea. And I was thinking how the steam seam is awfully lovely, but awfully expensive. And I'm going to try to glue onto this fabric. I honestly do not have, know how it's going to go. I'm going to do little squares. And I was thinking about doing little one inch squares, but I think that might put me in the insane asylum. <laughs> so I'm going to do two inch squares and I'm going to cut them from these beautiful purples from Collage Quilter. Yes, I got another bundle. I'm going to have so many different colors through this winter. I'm just going to be having so much fun putting different colors together. Right now I'm staying in the same color palettes with all of these, but I am going to explore mixing the color palettes at some point. I'm going to cut my squares. They're going to be, I need about 96 of them, I figured with my math. This is 24 by 16. And that will give me a large enough basket, I think. And then I want to get six two inch squares from each of these 18 fabrics. So according to my calculations, that should give me 108 squares to work with once I cut these all up. I'm going to have a little bit left over, which I will throw in my scrap pile, but I will be cutting these pieces at six inches. And then this is four and a half, so I'll be cutting a half an inch off. I thought about doing this with my Cricut, but I think without having an adhesive or some sort of stabilizer, these little pieces of cotton are just going to fray. So I am going to cut these by hand. And once I have put all of my pieces on using this glue fabric fusion, which I'm not sure how this is going to go, but I'm just going to put a little dab on each square and try to get them going across and down and filling up this whole panel. And then I'm going to bring it to my machine and try to zigzag down each one each side so that they're all adhered to this piece of fabric before I make my basket. And I'm going to use one of these threads. I'm not sure which. They're both lovely purples. And I just will have to decide which one I want to use. That's my process that I'm going to explore today. I really feel that I want to be able to glue pieces down because the steam seam, I love it as a tool, but it might just prove to not be cost effective when you're working on bigger projects. I think it should be a tool, not the whole project. And then I'm also curious because I will not have to deal with, hopefully, the needle sticking though I've gotten some great suggestions on how to remedy that situation as well. So I'm going to get cutting here. I will, of course, as I always do, put it in fast forward. I will be cutting the fabric on camera because I'm cutting the fabric. So I'm going to leave it in. If you want to jump ahead, the timestamps will be there and I will be showing this process. And I once I finish the panel, I will check in before I go to the sewing machine. Thanks for joining me today.
that ended up being 98 sorry, 96. <laughs> and um, these four, I had selvage on them still. So I cut a 108 and my math was right. So that is always nice. I really think it's very pretty. I, could, I wonder what's going to happen if I lift it up. Uh, okay. <laughs> that was fun. So I'm going to take this to my sewing machine now. I do have some little gaps, but I'm not going to worry about it. That's why I did the purple underneath. I do think I'm going to go with this lighter color, though. I feel like the dark might just be too much. So I'm going to go over to my machine and very carefully with my tweezers and taking my time and taking deep breaths and get a nice zigzag to go in between all of these. That's gonna take me some time. So I'm just gonna put on a podcast or some music or a book, I'm not sure what yet. And I'm gonna go and get that done. I'm going to put a different thread in the bob and an inexpensive thread in the bob and so that I'm not wasting my beautiful threads. I can just save them for the top. So let me go do that and <laughs> I will come back. But I love it. I think it's really pretty. I am pleased with the process so far. And I think that going in between will be great because there's not going to be any glue there. There's just little spots of glue, as you saw. It was fun. And as I was getting closer to this side where I was getting down to just a few, it was like a little puzzle because I didn't want to, obviously, now I look at it and now I have three of these here. But uh, who's going to who's gonna look at that except for me? <laughs> so let me go do some sewing and I will come back. I stitched around my whole project. I went up and down each area it took some time but i zoned out it was fun and some of the pieces weren't close enough so i had to go back and mend some things but i think it added to the character of the project you can see where i had to double up i'm fine with that it was super fun and it, i love it. it it is beautiful i am going to go ahead and make a basket now so as before, and I will link the other video in the description, I am going to fold this in half and I am going to go ahead and do a half inch seam allowance across the top here, but I'm going to give myself a place to turn. I'm going to leave this open. I'm going to go here and backstitch on each end and then here and backstitch on each end. I have my opening. I'm just trimming up some threads. And now I'm going to center it. I'm going to get my ironing pad. I'm going to center it. Maybe I'll get my ruler first and get myself some wonder clips over here. First, I think I might just Go ahead and open up this seam and I don't have to worry about any organza in this project though I love my organza but I'm gonna just go ahead and open up that seam there Stitching's a little wonky right there, but that's okay. Okay. And now I'm going to take my ruler and just get a measurement over here. This is, I'm just centering it. So this is 11 here. So half of 11 is 5.5. It's looking pretty good right there. I'm 
It's good enough for me. I'm going to go with an inch and a half for my base here. So I'm folding this up an inch and a half. I'm going to clip that. And I'm going to do the same over here. Inch and a half. I'm going to press it since I have my iron right here. I'm just going to press this. Again, over here. Try to make sure it's even. Okay. And now I'm going to go stitch about three eighths of an inch to a half an inch, just somewhere in between there, <laughs> close enough, and keep this seam open. And I'm gonna do that here and here, and I will be right back. So now I'm back from my sewing machine, and I am going to turn this project. Get my hand in here. And this one's a lot easier. I can feel it already. I should have left myself more of an opening. I never do. But I can tell the basket with the organza definitely has more substance to it, of course. So that might be something I would revisit on this project. Okay, so here's my... I just got to manipulate it. <laughs> and I'm going to take this and press this here. And I'm just going to top stitch the gap closed because I love this fabric so much, but now that I'm looking at it, I don't know. I might want to use it for something else. So I'm just going to go ahead and, and tack this down for now, and I'll be right back. I'm just going to go ahead and press the tops here. So I know that this piece is 16 by 24. I almost feel like I should open it back up and line it and make it into a cute little tote bag. It is a little floppy, but it, when I put my laundry detergent and other, other things in it, it's just, just want things to be, look pretty from from the outside uh, but i'm gonna go home and live with this and see see how i like it and that's why i only did the gap closing but how beautiful how beautiful is the fabric and that's why i'm thinking maybe a bag i don't know what i was thinking well i was thinking about a basket such as life and that's okay. It's fabric. There's always more fabric. But this one's really special. And I think I could open it back up and make it into a small tote, which I may do. I had so much fun making this fabric. It really proved to be a great way to do it with the gluing. I had no issues sewing. 
whatsoever. There was no pulling because I wasn't going over steam a seam. I wasn't going over glue. I was just going around the perimeter of these two inch squares. That's fabulous to learn that and have that in my repertoire now and know that glue is my friend in this case. So I will be trying another project with the glue for sure. Also, let me know what you think about making this into a bag, maybe. Now I'm thinking, I mean, it would be really cute in my laundry room. Of course, it's adorable. I'm going to take it home and give it a try, but I think it would be fun maybe to make it into a tiny little tote bag. Put a zipper on it, magnetic snap. I don't know. You let me know, please. Let me know what you think. I, I love you guys. Thanks for joining me. It's so much fun communicating with all of you. And until next time, keep creating. Have fun out there. Bye.